Oh my gosh. Are you ready? It's not a big day. It's just a basketball game. Yeah. Go. Cool. Oliver's not gonna play. No. Oh yeah. That means we have no babysitter. I wonder if Ronnie's going to your game. Better find out. The science experiment is growing already. She's gonna be so excited. Check that out, guys. Good morning, Seekers. I'm glad you found us today. It's Saturday. And guess what? We're not going grocery shopping again. Aren't you happy? <laughs> this morning, Phineas has his very first basketball game. He has joined the church basketball team, and we're so excited to see him play. We're not really sports kind of people, and the last time I've had a kid in a basketball game, I think, was when Xander was like 12 or 13, so it's been a little while. Um, the kids have already headed down and I'm taking a second car because Ronnie has some private lessons later today that she has to do and the kids have a practice. So we want to make sure we have enough cars to get around. So I am going to head down by myself, but I hope you guys enjoy watching Finn play basketball. I have no idea if he is good or if he's like not, a, not good at all. Like I have literally no idea. five seconds we'll find out we don't do sports for a reason competition in like, you know, two weeks. <laughs> Hard to go in now. Oh, that's too bad for us. <laughs> I really thought they would. Woo! What? We are. <laughs> Oh. Oh. score 49 to 33 way to go boys nice game well played 
Even you, Finn, you tried hard. <laughs> oh, wow. This mom doesn't know if I can handle that kind of stuff. I didn't show you guys a lot of this stuff. There was one of these, the one of the boys on the team that got hurt so many times during the game that I was cringing. I'm just, it's, it was like watching full on contact sports. It was like football in there. What the heck? Dude, like, I don't know if you're cut out for this stuff. I'm on a bet. Well, you know, we were taking bets how long they were going to leave you in there. It wasn't very long. But that's because he's new at this. He's never done any kind of sports before. He hasn't. These boys, they've been playing since they were born. And so that's why they killed it out there. Those brothers, man, they must practice every day, all day, right? Right, Finn? <laughs> like, that's what they do. Which is great. It's fun to be on our team. We had a lot of boys, and that made it really easy for us because we could trade people in. Like Finn. Give them a chance. Um, but the other team didn't have very many, but they were like vicious. The first, like, what? First four minutes of the game, they had like 17 points and they were like killing it. Maybe 14 points. Yeah, like 15. And how many calls? The ref called them like, what? Four? That's why he got so mad. It was so many. And one of the boys got so mad, he like threw the ball into the floor and like scared the crap out of everybody. And we're all like, Dude, this kid needs to take a chill pill. Like, the ball was and they were like complaining at the end because, you know, they totally got creamed. I felt bad for them to the point where at the end I didn't even want to cheer for our team anymore and I wanted to cheer for them. And I kept hoping the little guy, number one, would make a basket. <laughs> and I was like clapping whenever they got a basket. Oh, it was bad. But, but when they were coming out, they were complaining saying the ref was only calling them. I'm like, well, I wanted to say to them, the ref was only calling you because you guys were the only ones like pushing people, grabbing the ball when the way you weren't supposed to and breaking the rules. Our team wasn't doing that. You can't have people call call if you're not doing anything. Anyway, it was funny. Boys are funny. Could you shush? Jasper, if you don't stop doing, eh, nobody wants to hear that. We're, they're trying to hear the story, and you're just, eh. Look, the seat isn't even attached to the seat, the car. What? Since when? I don't know. It's not buckled up. Some, someone probably took I don't think it, I don't think it was like that last night. Someone must have accidentally undone it. We'll, we'll fix it. Anyway, it was a good game. I'm proud of you, Finn, for trying something new. There's a reason this mom doesn't do sports. I, I couldn't handle it, watching those boys get thrown into the floor and into the wall and break their ankles and... Yeah, one kid got tripped. Well, the same kid that got hurt. Like, what's his name, McCade? Yeah. No. No, McKay. McKay. Yeah, he's, he's the biggest guy on our He's team. the biggest guy on our team, so of course he got a ton of playing time because he's really good. But one point, the other team tripped him and he legit flew through the air <laughs> and then rolled on the floor. And I was like, is he okay? I wish I'd been recording that because that would have been an epic slow motion shot. <laughs> and I said, hey, he did that so beautifully, he should be a dancer. <laughs> Ronnie thought it was pretty epic. They had to leave early because Ronnie has practice. And speaking of which, we got to go too, so I'm going to help her fix this car seat, and then we got to get on the road. So windy. What happened to my hair? Oh. It's freezing. It's windy. It looks deceptively beautiful out there. Deceptively beautiful. It is not awesomely warm like it looks. Trust me. Um, I'm heading down to the studio to get Ronnie and Eloise I intended to go soon enough to like film them, but I don't know if I'm gonna make it in time to film them. I'm running a bit late because I decided I was gonna eat and relax for a minute instead of go down there, film them. But hopefully I'll get there in time to at least see them do it once. You guys have seen them do it before. This is the same duet they've been doing. This is their second year performing it. And we just did it at the last competition. <laughs> and they're just beefing up their practicing time because we got competition coming up. Anyway, I'm heading down there right now. Pretty, right? What? They've locked me out. 
call Ronnie. It is so cold and windy and they will not come to the door. I walked out. because we are buying stuff for Xander's birthday party tomorrow and he likes, what do you call that cake, this stuff? I don't even remember what it's called. German chocolate or something? I don't know. Anyway, he likes this, so we're gonna pick this up and also a gluten-free, dairy-free cake. I don't think, yeah, that one. Can you reach it? Nice. This is the best one, at least that we've tried. What you got? Oh, all right. Two, four, 24. Ice creams. This one's actually gluten-free with cookies in, which is awesome. And then we got this for all the other kids. I think that's about it. All right, we're home from the store and it looks like the girls have gotten excited about basketball. I know that Phineas found all the basketballs when we got home and started like dribbling them. He actually filled them up with air because apparently they were 
deflated and he is he started dribbling them this afternoon but I just got home and the girls are playing basketball in the freezing cold <laughs> I don't want to get out of the car I took my jacket off to move it I moved oh I just moved the car so that they could play better because I pulled in when they were apparently playing and then they were like, Mom, and now they've lost the ball underneath this. Th I'm going to show you guys. Lost the ball under the trailer and they can't get it. <laughs> <laughs> she got it. <laughs> you guys know how to play horse? Yeah. No? I'll teach you how to play horse, but I'm freezing now. Hey, Virginia, you should join the basketball team. She's good. <laughs> Blocker! No reaching! Woo! Oh, so close! Yeah! Well, Phineas took off to a dance tonight. I hope he has fun. Um, we'll update you tomorrow and let you know if he danced with any girls tonight with his basketball friends. So I hope he had a good time. That was a crazy game this morning and the wind and oh my gosh, this day. Woo! It's gone from crazy to crazy. But anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know how much I appreciate you hanging out with us and following our story. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and comment if you can. Subscribe if you want to hang out some more and seek your truth. Bye, Seekers. Find us later. Find us later.